Epilepsy is a disorder that causes a sudden, unprovoked surge in electrical activity or electrical storm in the brain. More than 4.3 million adults in the U.S. are diagnosed with epilepsy. Epilepsy can affect anybody at any age. It tends to increase over time. As you get older, you acquire brain lesions such as strokes and that puts you at higher risk for brain tumors, which tend to occur in the elderly and they will generate seizures. And young children may have epilepsy that's uh, only dependent on their age. They start at a certain age and it goes away at a certain age. Some symptoms of seizures include blackouts, memory loss or passing out, rapid muscle contractions, unresponsiveness, extreme fatigue, and stiffening of the body. Baylor St. Luke's Medical Center treats the two major categories of epilepsy, focal or partial, and generalized epilepsy. Here's the temporal lobe at the base of the brain. This, this would be the front of the brain above the eyes, and right behind the eye and above the ear is the temporal lobe. And this is the most common site for focal epilepsy. When person develops epilepsy or new onset seizures, the first medicine or the second medicine will control the seizures about 70% of the time. The patients that continue to have seizures need to get further evaluation to find out why the medication is not working. There are about 20 medicines out there and some people can try all of them and still continue to have seizures. In, in cases that fail two drugs, the odds of getting control with the third through the 20th drug are very low, less than 10%. Recording seizures in an epilepsy monitoring unit or getting EEG studies or imaging studies or other more sophisticated tests will let us know what kind of epilepsy it is and maybe why it's not responding to therapy. Neurologists at Baylor St. Luke's treat many seizures with the FDA-approved computer device known as NeuroPACE, which is implanted under the skin in the skull for patients 18 and older. With the NeuroPACE device, you have a, a little hole made in the skull. This is placed into that space and wires run from the device to the temporal lobes on both sides where it can record seizures and it can treat seizures. But when the seizure is detected, it almost instantaneously delivers treatment with therapy. Usually it's about 25 pulses over a tenth of a second. So it's very brief. People do not feel anything. It's fascinating that that would even stop a seizure but it does work. Patients use a special wand to download data to their computer of their recent seizure activity from the NeuroPACE device. The doctor can log in to the download and look at the seizures, what time they occurred, and we can change detection settings to detect the seizure earlier or later so we can optimize treatment without too many extra treatments that are unnecessary. If you or a loved one have uncontrolled seizures due to epilepsy, you should consider coming to an epilepsy center to find out if you're a candidate for surgery or device implant.